Don again. I'm here to show you some more things about reading music. You know, I've spent a whole lifetime trying to make it easier because so many people get discouraged early in life. They want to play music, they want to sing, they want to know how to read music. They get so discouraged because it's complicated. I'm making it simple. And it doesn't have to be complicated. You know, if you look at a piece of music, like a church uh, hymnal or a piece of music, just a piece of pop music, you notice there is the staff which has the five line staff. And if it's piano music, you have a five line staff here, another five line staff below, and you have to read all of that. That's too confusing to start with. So my staff is going to have one line, just like this. That's my whole staff. Now, remember from the sessions before, I gave you a time signature like this, which means there are four beats in every measure, and this bottom four tells us what kind of note gets a beat, and in this case, with the four, the fourth of a dollar is a quarter, that's easy to remember, a quarter note gets one beat. Now, I will divide this in, whoops, these are, each one of these spaces is a measure. I'll just put another line down below. And there's these bars or these lines that I'm putting here are called measure, measure bars. And at the end, I'm going to put a dark line and a and just a single line, which tells you the end. That's all it means, it's just at the end. So, now, I'm gonna write, we'll, we'll do the, the rhythm here first, and give me a minute just to. Oh, all right. You read left to right, just like you read a book. So we're going to go. See, you have to line it up. So, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, 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 ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta. See how that's done? Each one of those four beats. That's a beat. That's a beat. We can go back to our circles again. And lead the reading left to right, so it would go one, one, two, three, four, like that. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, 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 ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta, and so on. Hope you understand that. I'm going to go one step farther and show you a little bit about a melody. Uh, <clears throat> melody is just uh, is, is, is a line of sound that makes sense to you. I, I don't know how that's a very good definition or not. Maybe it doesn't make sense to you. It depends on the music. But <clears throat> when we look at this staff, so we're going to uh, well, think of this. The sound, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Everybody knows that, regardless whether you're 30 or, or 3 or 60 or 160, you still remember ding dong. Okay, so now we're gonna, so we'll call this one up above the line, ding, and the one below the line, dong. Ding dong, ding ding dong, Ding ding dong, ding ding dong, ding 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 dong dong, ding dong, <laughs> ding dong dong, ding dong. Got a little confused there myself. Anyway, see how it does. Now that sound of ding dong, of you, uh, you probably if you're if you've been to, to grade school at some point in time, heard them singing do re mi fa so la ti do. Or do a deer, a female deer, that song that made it pretty well famous. This is called solfeggio. 
Well, we, we're, so we're going to use so and me. And you notice how I use the hand signs? So, me. If it's above the line, it'll be so. Below the line, it's me. I'll try to do this left-handed so the, the way you look at me is the way you'll do it. Like, so, me, so, me. With your right hand, I'll do it left-handed. So, me, so, so, me. So, so, me. So, so, me. So, 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 me. Me. So, me, me, so, me. Now you're reading music. Believe it or not, you just did. That's, there's more to learn, a whole lot more. But that's the beginning. That's how music fits together, is in from pitch, which is the da -ha. I didn't mention the word pitch, but that's we're going to talk about that later on. We're going to bring Colton out here shortly. Colton's, Colton Prunty, going to play some music for you. I think you get an idea of what it is to hear a melody, and we'll we'll try to emphasize where the beat is and show you all that. So, give us a moment. We'll be right back and get Colton up here. Here's a tune by Eric Clapton, featuring Colton and I playing saxophones, just to show you what melody sounds like. Thank you. 